You idiot. Do you oh, even know oh, who I'm I an am? idiot now. Do you know who I am? I'm here on behalf of Mara. How dare you start arguing with me? I'm coming here to help you. What I'm is sorry, wrong with I, you? I got too what? excited. Huh? I'm in what? the middle of some very stressful work. I'm going to tell you something that's probably going to upset you even more. You see these robes I'm wearing? I stole them. The Mara Malls. He has extra robes in his bedroom, and I stole these. Now, what you got to say about that? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. I don't like how you're looking at me. I know you're there. I think I know what was on your mind, Edda. But no thank you. Look out. Get out of my way. citizens here, Balaman and his um, fire salts, which uh, that is going to be challenging. Because apparently I have to go to where majors are, and I really don't have uh, any proof against majors and magic. Tear me to pieces. I mean, at least with dumb bandits and stuff, I can pretty much hold my own. So I don't know. Unless some miracle happens. So I was thinking I was going to go ahead and do some volunteer work over here at the uh, Temple of Mara today. Learn a library's worth of knowledge in moments, or throw back that missing limb with my genuine palmer blood Quite a busy morning here. My good friend Jade, Mara Mall, Sardrin, are you here praying to get into Helga's good graces? Good luck with that. Wait a minute. You're the. Didn't I meet? No, it was somebody else. Yes. Okay, it wasn't you. May you walk on warm sands. Okay, it was somebody else I met out in, um, near Winterhold. Um, Dinya? What do you need, my friend? Is it still possible to aid the temple? Always, child. Mara's mercy is ever flowing. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? I'm sure. Just tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Oh well, thank you. Alright, and I think I know just the partner that I'm gonna need on this. Jade? Welcome to the Temple of Mara. Mm-hmm follow me I need your help all right let's go I couldn't think of anybody more perfect for this job so let me change 
uh, into something more suitable. I know her voice can get a bit irritating, but one I'll, of these I'll, days I'm just gonna step we have to buy here. armor from Grelka. Not that she has good wares, but I All right, I'll, I'll, I'll be out in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry, Briel. I'll, I'll just go back here and change. All right. Here we go. Call me Brother Zion. Can't help but uh, look around. What does this backpack do? Again, slower stamina regeneration. Oh well. Oh, there you are. Are you ready? Don't laugh at me. I see you making that face. Come on. If we're gonna do Mara's work, I might as well look the part. Brother Zion. Now, let me see if I can reverse this, uh... Hmm. Reverse this, um... I don't know what you call it, this manifestation of Malakath. Mara. I'm in your service. There. I have Mara's blessing again. Thank you. Alright, let's go. Alright, so you should be able to see the true nature of what love is all about. Just follow me. Just keep quiet. I'll, I'll do all the talking. Alright, we're on our way to Avastead. What? What is he doing? Whenever I'm in the city, I'm always afraid I'll run into Clement? someone I know. At least I know Clinic, that I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. Um, are you okay? I know I was supposed to deliver your, um, your stuff, and I haven't done it yet, but... Oh, this behavior is not because of that. Be careful up there. Alright, I'll get to it as soon as I can, but... Right now, I'm on a mission from Mara. Jade? Alright, let's go. Hello. Miss Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Um, you seem quite happy. My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. And isn't that all that matters? Yes, that is what matters. You have a great day. Have yourself a great day. <laughs> okay. Well, it looks like we're on the same page. She is. Hello. Are you the one sent by Mara? Why, oh, yes, I am. What's troubling you? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't Riften? Allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. You sound a little confused. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. Hmm. 
Wait, so... Wait, oh. Have you spoken to my parents yet? Please. My love depends on it. All right, I don't know if I was following everything she said. I, I heard her going on and on about Bassianus. But did I miss something about um, maybe a clinic? Come on, let's go. Well, I guess we need to talk to the parents first. Hello. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. If I were you, I'd move right through our backwards little town. No, I'm not a, a pilgrim. I'm here on a mission from Mara. Your daughter asked me to speak to you. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. What would inspire them to leave? Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Hmm, I think it might have been Yolfthor that I fought. You know, hand to hand in the, um, inn a few weeks ago. I can see why uh, Bassianus might be afraid. Okay, well. Tell me, how is life at the farm? It's thankless work tending a farm, but we like living here. Been here all our lives. Okay, thank you. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. Mara's blessings upon you. See there, Jade? Let's go. You just gotta believe and, you know, don't be so nervous and conflicted. Although, since meeting you, I realize that I'm conflicted too. Damn Very much so. Alright, we have more work to do. Let me get this um, mountain flower. Our job here is not finished. What is going on with Klimic? Klimic! I wish I could make my deliveries more often. But the road's getting dangerous. Does fishing on the lake keep you busy? Depends on what you mean by busy. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Be hmm. careful up there. Jade, I think he's lost it. I was gonna say he's losing it, but I think it's he's beyond that. All right, who are we talking to in here? Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Yeah, I think I think it was this man that I I had to beat to the ground. Um, hello, sir. Mara's blessing upon you. You a pilgrim or just passing through? Skyrim certainly um, has its fair share of inns. Well, I'll probably be headed up to the monastery at, at some point. Well, if you're heading up to High Hrothgar, you'll want to watch yourself along the way. I hear wolves prowl to steps. And I would just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. Well, your daughter asked me to speak to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Klimic. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Well, why do you want her to stay so badly? Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. 
If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? And you think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies uh, change actually, with the I don't. Moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He'll need some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Okay, well. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. All right. Oh, what? Are you... Is it absolutely necessary? You're, you're, you're Bassianus, aren't huh? you? You were eavesdropping on our conversation. Sit down, sir. We don't have time. Come on. We don't have time for this. Clement is, is in distress. We need to talk to him. Don't follow me. Come on. Jade, come on. You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Well, I'm not technically a pilgrim. What is he doing? All right, look, Clem Clemic is clearly in distress. Clemic. I wish I could make my deliveries more often, but the road's getting dangerous. I hear you lost Fastred. Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Well, she probably appreciates assertive men. What did you call me? I mean that you should be bold. Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? You came up with that all by yourself, did you? And what do you have to lose? Ismir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Oh, thank gosh. That, <laughs> that hammering was really starting to get to me. All right, what, what? What do you have to say? Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, so, um... I guess we need to go and... see what's going on down here. Bastard, I have something to say to you. Clemic? What is it? I don't want you to leave Iverstead. <laughs> Why not? Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? Oh, Clemic. All right, Jade, you see? You see how things work out? It's belief in Mara? Come on. I think we need to pray. Now let me move over here. Thank you, Mara, for bringing this couple together. Jane, you're, you're being jaded right now. Come on. You, you saw the power of love and Mara at work. Now it's time for us to get back to Rifton and report in the Dinya. In the name of the Yard, I'm ordering you to stand fast. Oh, come on. I'm a priest of Mara now. You're making a mistake. There's no mistake. You're a wanted man, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Do you even know what crimes I, I committed? I can't even remember. But all right then. Take me to jail. At least I can get a good night's sleep. I guess you're smarter than you look. Oh, much smarter. Dinya? I mean, Jade, you didn't have to come to jail with me. Hmm. Well, this was... Seems I have something stuck in my quite teeth. Quite a surprise. Yes? Yes. So, let's see. Nope. 
Let's go. Yeah. Well, would you like some cheese? All right. I'm going to lay down and go to sleep. All right. Hopefully they'll let us out of here soon. Okay, well. That was, um, a little bit humiliating having you in the prison with me, but, uh... Try not to walk too done. fast. Oh. I don't oh, want to get lost in a place this massive. Jade. You live here. What do you mean, get lost? You've been here longer than I have. Come on. The you, Imperialists you, think you it's just, all lawless You like to try to get I'm under my skin, I can tell. Come on. Let's get back to Dinya. It's a shame that the mission got interrupted like that, but I'm trying to recall what was it I did. I'm not... I probably tried to steal something from somebody and got caught. You know, the usual. I can't remember who it was. For the moment, I'm trying to turn over a new leaf and walk the path of Mara. Dinya. What do you need, my friend? I help the young lovers in Avastead. How wonderful. Like the sea, their love roils and swells, but brings life and nourishment to all. Does Mara require more of me? I see you are eager to carry the light. As you venture, Mara fills my mind ever more with visions of love in peril. Uh-oh. Embers lie nestled in stone, needing only fuel to bloom a flame that will warm all around them. Go to Markarth. There you'll find Kalsomo, wise, acid, and reclusive. Help him to emerge and state his intentions. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. All right. Then it will be done. Jade, I think we should pray again at the shrine. <clears throat> Let's be full of Mara's blessing. Come on. Oh, is this another one over here? I, I want to make sure. Yes, Mara. Mara, wash over me with your love and your light. Okay. We're off to Markarth. And again, I'll do all the talking, so... You don't have to worry. Just, just watch. Just be open and watch. All right, Jade. Here we are. It's been a long trip. I thought they had guards posted out here. What, what's going on? Have we done enough to spread Mars' love and charity? I'm not so sure we're doing our part. What do you mean? What do you mean we're not doing our part? You know what? You're, you're doing it again. You're trying to get under my skin. Come on. You really know how to push my buttons, I tell you, Jane. Because you know what? I wanted you to be a thief. I wanted us to team up in just a crime spree all over Skyrim, the two of us. 
we'd be unstoppable. But no, you wanted to be a priestess of Mara, so because, well, because, um, because I like you, I'm now a priest of Mara. So come on, I don't want to hear any more. Who are we here to see anyway? Calcimo? Let's go. It's up this way. Could you? Thank you. You know, it's it's your conflicted nature that really appealed to me. I mean, you were a thief, like I was aspiring to become, and now you sort of, well, let's go. No, we're doing this right. Mm, that crab. Um, hello, Caselmo. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. Well, I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more oh, guards. Here we go. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you oh, even know oh who I'm I an am? idiot now. The do you know who I am? I'm here on behalf of Mara. How dare you start arguing with me? I'm coming here to help you. What I'm is sorry, wrong with I, you? I got too what? excited. Huh? I'm in what? the middle of some very stressful work, and I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? Well, that's better. I can't believe it. You know, you really, you know what? Okay, anyway, I've been sent here by Mara to aid you. I was beginning to lose faith that any help would come. Ah, yeah. uh, can you, you see, see why? I've been thinking about Feline quite a bit. You know Feline? Um, I think I've seen her. Then you know what a beauty she is. The trouble is that I can't seem to speak around her. My mouth goes dry, and, and I start to shake. I hmm. could never hope to approach her. You're probably overthinking this. That may be the case, but she is as volatile as a saber cat. One wrong word, and I've seen her turn on a man so quickly. Hmm, sounds like somebody else I know. Is there anybody who knows what she likes? <laughs> you two are two peas in a pod, let me tell you. There is one, Ingvar. He's quite popular with the ladies. Thankfully, Feline is not quite his type, but they've been friends for some time, and he may have some ideas. Please, ask him what she likes. It's my only chance. Mm -hmm. You know, you're lucky I'm not thin-skinned, because I would really, my feelings would have really been hurt with you the way you yelled at me. Oh, hi, Jade. Yeah, there, there are some bumps, you know, in the road when it comes to love. Let's go. So, who Ingvar, he said. I don't know who that is. Hopefully Mara will guide us to him. How can I believe that old man? Hmm. Hey, Gorza, how are you? You know... Uh, you, um... Don't bother with Tacitus. Yeah. Useless. Um, yeah, did you need some help with that? What's wrong with your apprentice? Tacitus? Yeah. Oh, he's an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, could you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. All right, I'll, I'll bring one if I can find it. Thanks. Fight now. All right, Jade, this way. Can you 
you feel Mara's hand gently resting on your shoulder, pointing you in the direction that we must go to reunite or to unite these potential lovers. You must be Ingvar. Bloody enough for you, outsider. Oh, yep. Bloody enough. Then turn around and go back where you came. City doesn't need you. Doesn't want you. Blood and silver are what flows through Markarth. That's the way it is. That's the way it'll stay. Is everybody here so ill-tempered? Maybe you should consider leaving. Anyhow. Um... 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 Jade, help me here. Um... Mara, I'm here as a representative of Mara. And I heard you might know what Feline likes. What? Why? Are you interested? Um, it's not for me. It's for Calselmo. Calselmo? Is he interested in Feline? Oh, it's Calselmo? That sly old codger. I should have guessed. Good for him. For the both of them. Between you and me, she could use a bit of warmth. As for what she might like, I didn't tell you this. Feline likes to act tough, but she really has a soft spot for, of all things, poetry. You know, I took some classes at the Bard's College as a youth. Poems come in handy when wooing. There's a poem I once used on an older lady of Rorikstead. I can change it to be about Feline, if you've got some gold. Are you prepared to receive my golden words? <laughs> as long as they're words, then yes, I am prepared. So, yeah, here's 200 gold. I, I think I have enough. Wonderful. I'll write it out so you won't forget it. You should probably just take this directly to Feline. Wouldn't want the old ice brain stumbling over the words. All right. Thank you for your assistance. Mara's blessing upon you. Okay. Try not to walk too fast. I don't want to get lost in a place this massive. All right, well, I can understand. You've probably never been here before, and it is big. Let's go. I'm walking slow. Come on. Still walking slow. All right, that's it. Easy does it. I'm coming up on some steps. All right, I'm, I'm gonna start walking up the steps now. There's a there's a land in here. I'm gonna stop and wait for you. Okay, I'm gonna go up the next set of steps. All right, I'm gonna stop stop here at the lane. Yeah, am I getting on your nerves yet? The way you get on mine? Come on. How did I even bring you? Just to aggravate me. You know, maybe we should just not talk to each other the rest of this mission. Am I still walking too fast? I'm gonna tell you something that's probably gonna upset you even more. You see these robes I'm wearing? I stole them, the Maramals. He has extra robes in his bedroom and I stole these. Now, what you gotta say about that?
What are we doing? Oh, I need to take the I was almost giving, gonna give the poem to Kassel. See, that's how much you've upset me. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Come on, we need to talk to Feline. Bless you. Mara's blessing upon you. It's a nice set of armor, by the way. I'm just making sure you're still behind me. Emissary from the Temple of Mara. And I have questions. Very well. You may approach the mournful throne, but watch your words. I actually wanted to talk to you about Calcimo. Calcimo? What about him? He has feelings for you. What? You're out of your mind. That old coot's more interested in dead dwarves than anybody around here. Don't talk such rot. It's true. He told me. Please, stop wasting my time. You're embarrassing yourself. Um... <coughs> Jay, that didn't go well. Now I see why you're so... Skeptical, but I've got to keep trying. That's what Mara would want. Feline, may I approach you? I'm an emissary of Mara. As his house, Carl, Igman's security is my chief concern. I have a poem that I would like you to read. Pardon me? It's from Caselmo. Please. I'm not sure what this is all about. Here. This is lovely. Calselmo wrote this? About me? I never knew he had such feeling in him. He cares about you. Clearly. I've never even thought of him in that manner. I wish that I was as skilled with words as he. Here, take in this letter. I may not be as eloquent as he is, but I hope he understands. Well, that was quick write a letter while I'm standing right in front of you? Amazing. All right, Jade, let's go. This time we're gonna talk to Caselmo. What? Okay, let's go. I really wish we could work together all the time, but you seem to be very cowardly sometimes. That yeah, could get us killed. I mean, could you imagine the two of us, two thieves, terrorizing Skyrim together? Hmm. You wouldn't have to pretend to be agents of Mara? Forgive me, Mara. But I think this is just a means to an end. Maybe for both of us. I don't know what the end is. Or the means. But we need to do what we are appointed to do. All right, Calcimo. I have things to study. Uh, will what you stop it? being so irritable? 
Here's a letter from Feline. Don't get me started, sir. This is more than I could have hoped for. Have you really done this? I have me? to see her. Please excuse me. <clears throat> You're excused. What? Oh, goodbye. Yeah. All right, Jade, follow him. Come on. Blessing upon both of you. Jade, it looks like our work here is done. Come on. It's time for us to return back to Dinya and report in. So, Caselmo, I hope you're gonna stop being so bitter and mean if I ever come to you again for help. Remember this. Mara's blessing. Mara's blessing. The things I have to put up with, I tell you. I mean, the people, the people here in Skyrim are just, ooh, some of them, the, the attitudes, like that timber wide arm. Just don't get me started. I'm trying to stay calm. All right. Riften, here we go. Oh, who's the... Oh, it's, it's her and that dog. You know, I was really looking... I was hoping that you were going to be a, a dark mage that we could work together. But no, you were trying to palm off that dog on me. You got some nerve, lady. What about Some Paragorn damn and Valendor? What? You don't think they like each other? Or do you think they don't like other males? Now you want to start talking to me? Come on. Well, at least this time I'm not being arrested for something that I don't remember what I did. Exactly. Yashari, you spend a lot of time here at the there temple. There is a special today on everything. You must buy it to get it. Right. I'm already down 200 gold, trying to play matchmaker for Mara. Mm. Denya? What do you need, my friend? I help the forlorn lovers of Markarth. The goddess smiles at your efforts, child. The dawn shines bright upon you. You have seen the young, fickle love of youth and helped a more seasoned love find its way. There is one final aspect we wish for you to explore. For a strong love can withstand storms and even survive death. Take this symbol of Mara. She will guide you to the wandering souls of two whose love was so great that their entwinement binds them to this world. Oh, a second amulet of Mara. Well, I've already got one on. All right, I'll keep this in my pocket for extra power. Wow, I could have you come with us. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. All right. I'm, I'm taking your apprentice here. Mara Maul, it's good to see you. Let's go, Jade. 
We have one last mission to accomplish. Take the amulet off and put it back on. Now, let's go. Mora is guiding me. Alright, this is going to be a long journey. Alright, this is going to require, for me anyway, probably you too, for us to go to parts of Skyrim I've never been to. Need something? Yes, I'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Um... Let's see, why Going straight run? through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Uh, take us to Rorikstead. Climbing back, and we'll be off. I think I've got that right. I hope I do. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to right run from old Rorik's dead. All right, here we are. Rorik's dead. Okay, so... See, it's six o'clock in the morning. Wow. Um, if it were night, I would say we should get a room and get some rest, but you slept all the way here with your head on my shoulder. Oh, now it's raining. Just what I need. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. I'm not going to do this all morning, though, picking up all these ingredients. So, what is this? Golden Hills Plantation. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna walk slow for you. This is op open, open territory, open fields. You ought to be able to keep up. Oh no. Look. Redwards glow in Skyrim? Stone One flesh. We're imported from the West Weald. Look out! Jay, look out! This way. Oh, a ghost. Hello? What are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you, Cosmen, who they say were wiped out here. 
I've turned over every body, though, and I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. I don't see any bodies here. I don't have time for your foolishness. Here we go again. Either help me or yes. be gone. You're being rude. You're being you rude. must be here somewhere. Stop it. Stop it. Stop being rude. No, I'm trying to uphold the idea, the ideology of Mara. Now don't test my patience. So what are you doing? I'm searching for my Fenric. He was marching with you, Cause men, who they say were wiped out here. I've turned over every body, though. And I can't find him. Please help me look. He has a bright red beard and hair. Would you say, Jade, we need to humor her? Okay. Um, the, the last battle here was hundreds of years ago. Are you a fool? Oh. Look at the bodies. No, around stop, you. It. Stop, 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 sure stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Stop it. You're being rude. Stop being rude to me. Come, help me search for Fenrir. He must be here somewhere. Okay. We'll help search for him. Um, where are we supposed... Oh. I think Mara is guiding us off in the distance here. Um, oh, look. Wind Vula Boots. What do they do? Nothing. Well, they look nice. Heavy armor. I need to sell off some stuff. I'm starting to reach my weight limit here. Okay, let's, um, I think it's off this way. Hmm, what is this? Some sort of ruin. This is a shrine. Oh, speech insight. Nice. All right, I'm going to leave those s s silver ingots. I don't want to get weighed down too much. All right, come on, this way. Oh, no, what is it? Oh, no! Jade, help! No! Curio and he showed me, taught me, destruction magic. Okay, now I'm turned around. Let this back this way. Jade, 
You want no help at all. Looks like there might be another shrine over here. Flawless Amethyst. What is this book? I've read it. Oh, look at the strong Freya. box. The bee and Barb will be bustling tonight. Maybe it's time we check back in on everyone? I don't want them to think I abandoned them. Um, we, we are doing Mara's business right now. Come on. You can go to the Bee and Bob some other time. I feel like I'm getting lost here. Is Fenric really that far away? Stuck up here. Well, we're close. Yeah, I can see him from the distance. All right, Jade. Better late than never. Fenrig, your wife is looking for you. Rookie, where is she? West, in the plains over the mountain. We're expected to fight there tomorrow. Joker elected to camp here for the night. I don't like it, though. Let me take you to Rookie. If she's come this far from home, it must be important. Lead on. I just need to report back to camp by sunrise. Well, he's gone. All right, well, let's head back to that, um, that monument where they were. Baruch. What? Another bristleback? Jade, get it! There. Finished. Let's get back to those lovers. No, it is another one. Jade, look out! I hate 
eat this. Okay, now if we could finally get back to those lovers. Alright, we made it. Of course I have. What brings you here? I had heard that you cause men were wiped out. I came to find you. But that battle well, I left my home, I thought I'd tomorrow. spend more time outside. Shh, What's going on? Without a companion, look, it just look. so lonely. So, I look, thank you. Jay, and look! Thank Mara. I'm here. We're together now. And we will be forever. We did it. That was amazing. I'm sorry to shush you, but... Something important was happening. But anyway, it's time for us to get back to Riften. All right, this way. Now, it's been Have we done enough to spread Mars' love and charity? I think we have. I'm I think not so we, sure we're doing our part. We have done our part. I think we've been at this for like two or three days now. Dinya? What do you need, my friend? I helped the long-dead lovers find each other. Your efforts have helped illuminate the entire province. I trust by now you've achieved a higher comprehension of love. Carry the blessings of Mara with you so the rest of the province may shine with her glories. Thank you. Does the temple need any additional assistance? Riften is drowning in a sea of sin and wickedness, and it's my personal mission to let everyone know that the warmth of Mara can see them through. All I need is a messenger to bring her words to these poor souls by distributing these missives. I'll have Jade help me distribute them. Oh my, how wonderful. Lady Mara will be so pleased. I'm sure she will. Here you are. Now make sure you give out every single one. We can't afford to let even one lost soul stray from her warmth. No, we can't. Any, um, tips on who might accept these? Almost anyone in Riften is in dire need of those missives. Speak to them, child. You will know who will listen and who will sin. A word of advice. Keep away from the Keep and the City Guards. They follow their own path and have already forsaken her. Okay. And finally, what can you tell me about Mara? Mara is the handmaiden of Kine, the goddess of the storm, and the mother of men. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. If you wish to make a donation to her benevolence, speak to Maramal and ensure your true love will endure for all eternity. Hmm. Spoken like a true saleswoman. You represent Mara now. Set an example for all. I will. All right, Jade. We have an important mission just waiting for us. Let's get some rest, and then we'll start tomorrow handing out these flyers.